Ladies and gents, Thought Forums here today. I'm gonna show you how to make those old school, late 90s techie bass sounds like you'd hear in a lot of future engineers, KMC, around that turn of the century. 1999, 98, 2000s. Now, something that was very different in this time period is virtual analog sense really started to take off. And so you had things like the Nord Lead, the Roland JP8000, the Novation Supernova. These virtual analog sense that were emulating analog sense started to get super popular. And so we started to hear this mixture of that Rompler sound with that more you know, techy virtual analog sound. And so a lot of these guys, they were using using these virtual analog synths in the studio. And so if you want that kind of techie sound overall, think about mixing romplers with virtual analog synths. And I'm gonna focus on just designing a very basic bass patch like you'd hear in a KMC song. Now, for this bass sound, really the great thing about it is essentially any modern VST can work great for this because pretty much anything is a virtual analog synth. But we're going to go old school here, and from the Korg collection, I'm going to use the Micro Korg here. Now, the Micro Korg itself is based on the Korg MS2000, which was a virtual analog synth Korg released, I think, in the year 2000. So, this is what I think is period relevant as we could get in terms of a virtual analog VST to use. And then plus, I know a lot of you guys already own the Korg collection, so this should hopefully teach you how to get a little more variety out of there. And so this is the bass sound that we've been previewing here. When you're in the micro Korg to initialize a patch, you're gonna to come to this area in program select, go to load in it program and select synth. Now in here, we can focus on oscillator one at the top and we're gonna use this saw wave here, which is a fantastic starting point for any bass sound, especially these more techy uh, type sounds. Now in your mixer, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your oscillator one level is at full volume and everything else in here, oscillator two and noise is set to zero. And this ultimately means that just oscillator one will sound. Now this is a great starting point for our sound. And the next thing we can do is focus on the filter because that's where so much of the sound comes from. Now in the filter section, we can use the low pass filter 12 pole here. And let's bring our resonance all the way down to zero. And we're gonna use this cutoff filter here to remove that high end in the saw wave. And that's where we essentially get our bass sound. Now, when you use a low pass filter, you typically lose some volume in the overall sound. And you can compensate for that in the micro Korg with the output volume here. We can just crank that up a little bit or in your doll, your mixer, using a utility device, you can just uh, recompensate to introduce some volume back in. A lot of the sound, because we have this cutoff filter, let's say we just have it all the way down to zero, can't really hear anything. And so what we can do is modulate this cutoff with a snappy shaped envelope to open up very quickly when you press a note, and that's essentially what this sound is. So we have a filter envelope here and we can essentially take off the sustain, turn off the attack, sustain, release, and then just work with the decay here. And you can see how that shape changes based on how you increase or decrease the decay. So the lower the decay, the more snappy that envelope is and the less sound that will play through. But we need to do an important thing here. We need to apply this filter to the cutoff to modulate it. So in the filter section, you come to this envelope intensity and you can just increase this to increase the depth that that filter envelope shape applies to the cutoff. Now you'll notice there's a little bit of a drone and that's because the amp envelope here has a good bit of sustain on it. So we can turn off the sustain on there And you can kind of shape that to taste. It depends if you're gonna play long held out notes or just short plucky ones. Let's go with short plucky ones. And I may actually, 
I may just keep it as is. I think that's a good sound there. So something else that's fun to do is play with the cutoff. So we can have it at zero or just increase a little more. Really personal preference there. And then you can remove some of the depth that this filter applies to the cutoff. So I could maybe uh, go down somewhere around here. Now let's use this built-in EQ here and just boost some of the lows. So I'm gonna go all the way down to around 80 and just crank that low gain. Now, if you want more of a techie sound in here, you can start to increase the resonance, which will then give you something like this. And really that's as easy it is to design these bass sounds. It's really this combination of playing around with the filters in here, the different envelopes, and you could start to experiment with stacking up other oscillators or using different oscillator types, but this is the essence of it. I, I feel like a lot of people overcomplicate bass design, especially if you're going for that old school classic sound. It is very simple and you can follow a process like this and just come up with all sorts of good bass sounds. Hope you guys enjoyed.